So, IMs, and these are actually planar magnetic. Well, let's get into it. So these are actually the HiD ZS MP143. Why do headphone companies have those mouthfuls worth a name? Can't they just put them like whale planar magnetics? Because it's actually, they have a design that IDC S says is based on whales, which is pretty interesting, but I also think is not that important for IMs. What is important is what is inside this box. And I'm not talking only about the IMs themselves and the cable. They also have a nice traveling pouch, which is pretty good quality, really nice, and it's made out of leather. They also have tuning filters, which I like a lot. The red ones are actually focused on high frequencies. The gold ones are actually focused on balanced tone. And the silver ones are actually focused on bass. But I'm actually gonna say bass. There's also two pair of ear tips. There are transparent ones and there are some black ones. The black ones are also focused on a balanced audio and the transparent ones are actually focused on high frequencies as well. So you're probably guessing the type of audio these have. But before we talk about how these sound, let's talk a bit about the build quality and if they're comfortable or not. So the build quality on these bad boys is actually very premium. They're completely metal on the outside. It feels like a type of aluminum. It doesn't say exactly what they're made out of. They have the design on the exterior, I actually told you and I wasn't lying, is based on whales. That's what the brand says, I'm not making it up. And also, they're pretty comfortable during long sessions, at least with my type of ears. Also, Pablo, this the editor here, tried them out and felt the same way. So, different types of ears, and we felt the same way. So, most likely, most people will find them comfortable, but this always depends on your type of ears. I can't really predict every scenario, because everybody has different types of ears, but at least, I think they're pretty comfortable. Now, what do you need to use these bad boys? Do you need a DAC? Do you need an amplifier? Well, no, they have less than 20 ohms and they're pretty sensitive. So you can actually use them with any type of phone that has a 3.5 jack. You can connect them to a DAC if you want. It will take advantage of them, but it's not necessary. And if you want any kind of explosive bass, well, you will need an amplifier, but you're not even gonna get that. So let's talk a little bit about the audio quality. The auto quality on these bad boys is actually focused on treble and mids if you ask me. That is the best type of audio you get and the clearest. The treble can actually be a little bit whiny at some times. It does hurt if you go all the way up. And also, the mids are extremely clean which is actually I really appreciate and I like a lot. But sometimes the lows can be a little bit muddy and not as strong as I would like. I would not recommend this pair of headphones for bass hits, not even using the tuning filters. You can actually tune them with maybe the tuning filter, the silver one that goes towards bass. Maybe put these black ear tips and also use an amplifier and you'll get some of a decent bass, but still not bass hit quality. Now, another thing these actually do very well is divide the sound. So if you wanna use them for maybe playing something competitive like Call of Duty, Fortnite, or any type of first person shooter, they're excellent because you don't have that bass that might distract you from any other sound you want to hear when you're playing these type of games. Maybe to hear some footsteps, maybe to hear a couple of crackling stairs, a door. If you play these games, you know what I'm talking about. And that's what you want on a pair of IMs that you want to use for competitive gaming. I actually think they're excellent for gaming. But music wise, you can also tell very clearly where the instruments are placed in the song. Maybe if they're on the left, on the top, on the right low, on the left low. Whatever you want, you can actually tell that pretty clearly. I really appreciate the clearness and the cleanness of the sound, no matter what gender you're actually listening to. Now, there is something I do not appreciate, and that is that when you're changing the tips, it is a pain in the ass to put them back on. These are the hardest earbuds I've ever had to change the ear tips on. It is a pain. I took them off to try, obviously, the transparent ones, to try out the filters, and every time I was trying to put on a different ear tip and a different filter because I didn't mix them, that's how I know the difference between frequencies. Well, it took me about 15 minutes. It's a lot. So they're not the most practical and they're not the most comfortable taking them apart. So most likely when you decide what type of audio you like on them, the combination you like, you're probably gonna leave them alone. It is not practical to be changing them all the time. These are not gonna be a single pair of IMs that can actually play absolutely everything for you. They're not practical. I would actually rather have another pair and just use these for high frequencies or clear audio. They do an excellent job. What do they cost? Well, they cost about $99 if you buy them an early bird in the official website of HiDC. 
but I would actually wait a little bit. I never recommend buying early bird. I always recommend you let a little bit of time go by in case there's some kind of actual factory defect. I will be transparent with you. They sent me this pair and I've had no issues. I am not paid to do this review and I'm not receiving any type of compensation. This is my honest opinion and I think they're pretty good. But if you want to pay full price once early bird is finished, you're going to have to pay about $130 to $150. So it does go pretty up in price. And that is actually to be expected because planar magnetic earbuds are pretty expensive all the time. Even planar magnetic headphones are pretty expensive. That technology is where you actually have magnets inside the drivers and give you a better audio quality. It's a little bit more technical, but it's not worth the explanation. The only thing you need to know about planar magnetic is that most of the time you're going to get better quality of audio. And in this case, you get better highs and better mids. And what happened to the tip? And this is exactly what I'm referring to. Putting the ear tip back on is a pain. It is not. It is not as easy as it should be. I mean, if you put it on any other type of earbuds, it'll go in smoothly. And these, I just, I just can't do it that easy. So take that into account. They are not practical. And this is a deal breaker for some people, if you ask me. And talking about deal breaker, would you actually purchase this pair of earbuds? Drop a comment below and also tell me if you want us to try any other pair of IMs, Bluetooth, or any type of headphones or tech on this channel. We can read the comment. I won't promise we'll do it, but most likely we'll do our best. And another video where we actually did our best was reviewing and bringing this speaker. It wasn't cheap and it wasn't easy to get here. And it's a special edition from Tomorrowland. So if you want to watch that video, check it out right over here. Give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe because it helps us out quite a bit.